Hey, it's Jerry with SoFlo Customs, and if you're watching this video, that means you just purchased the baddest 4x4 in all the land. One built by the professionals here at SoFlo Customs. So today, I'm going to show you how to use one of our most favorite products, the SoFlo 9500 pound winch. Let's take you through it. All right, so what is a 9500 pound winch? Well, it's made to get you in and out of some really bad situations. If a truck gets stuck, you can pull it out. If your truck gets stuck, you can pull yourself out. You're never gonna need that with a SoFlo truck, but just in case, it's nice to have one. So if you take a look at the stainless steel construction of the winch, you'll notice one thing. It's weatherproof. That means it could be very durable, surviving any kind of element. There's some key features of it that you're gonna want. Obviously, the grappling hook right in front. It also has a manual free spool system. What does that mean? That means if you lose the joystick, which I'm gonna show you in a second, you can actually manually take it out. It's real easy. All right, so where is your electric remote control to operate your winch? Also, Flow Techs actually put it right here in the center console. So if you open up your center console, that's what you're gonna need. So we now have the joystick to electronically get this baby working. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the female end, okay? And we're gonna remove this rubber gasket that protects it from weather. And we're gonna easily just put it right into the male side that sticks out. Once it's in, you're good. Now there's two options, in and out. You gotta come over here and make sure it's engaged. As it says engaged, it means electronically it will now work. So taking this, we're gonna go out since we're all the way plugged in. So you grab it right here by the red tab. You wanna do that because if not, you could lose a finger, kids. Don't try that at home. Grab the red tab. Now, we're gonna easily press the joystick out button. And there you go. It'll unwind itself the entire way if you'll allow it. Now, in is what you're gonna to want to pull it back in. Pretty self-explanatory stuff, right? So hold it once again by the red tab. Press it, and here we go. We're feeding it back in. Do it nice and slow so you don't cause this thing to become too tight and, and, and get stuck, okay? All right, now what happens if the winch, you have to pull something that's way further than the winch and you gotta use your cord? That's when you gotta use a free spool, and here's how you do that. So looking at the free spool, you'll see that it says the clutch is engaged. Remember, that's electronically. So we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna turn it twice to the middle and then all the way out. Out is for the free spool. So now I can manually grab it and pull it as far as I want. Something that you can't do with the joystick because the cord isn't that long. Now, once it's all the way out, we're gonna wanna put it right back in. We're gonna take this right here and we're gonna do exactly what we just did. Plug it in. All right, so if we wanna take it from free spool and make it electronically go back in, here's what we gotta do. We gotta re-engage it, remember, to so change free spool to re-engage. Boom, now we're re-engaged. Grab, obviously, your winch, give it some slack, and then press in. And as it goes in, you'll see it moving. Make sure your cord is on the other side so it doesn't get tangled up. Look at that, it's that easy to use this. So, if someone gets stuck, you can now help them. If you get stuck, which will never happen, you're driving a SoFlo Jeep, we don't get stuck. Not on those tires, not on what this setup. But, just in case, you're ready for anything. So I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, call your salesman and we'll get you handled.